craft. Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to have you here. Today, I wanna to talk about a class that we all probably struggle with at least a little bit in dental school, and that is gross anatomy. Gross anatomy is usually considered by many to be one of the most difficult classes that we take in dental school. And it's not necessarily that the content is hard or difficult to understand, but more so just the amount of information that we're asked to learn on such a short timeline. You have to understand that we're literally learning the anatomy of the entire body, essentially head to toe, and we're doing it in a, a matter of like just a few months. So the information piles up very quickly and without some good resources, it can be very difficult to perform well in this class. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you five resources that have helped me do quite well in my gross anatomy class in dental school. Hopefully with these five resources and some time spent, you will also be doing really well in your gross anatomy course in dental school and you can move on to your other courses and leave gross anatomy behind as a success. So let's get right into it. I wanna start off by saying this video is not sponsored. It is not sponsored. I solely am including this first resource because I truly enjoy it that much. The first resource that I wanna talk about today is Anatomy Bootcamp. So you're all dental students, I'm assuming. If not, you may be med students or even some undergrad students. But if you're a dental student and you're actually in dental school, you probably remember using DAT Bootcamp to get through the process of learning the DAT. And if you're anything like me, you truly enjoyed DAT Bootcamp and you loved everything about that software and you probably wouldn't be where you're at without it. Well, Bootcamp has been growing and the company has now expanded into a bunch of different portions of the dental education. And one of those major expansions has been into anatomy. So they have released Anatomy Bootcamp, which is essentially the same style that DAT Bootcamp followed. And it is this amazing program to help you do well in anatomy. What Bootcamp is, is essentially, it's a bunch of cadaveric images where you can learn the, the structures on the cadaver, but those are also accompanied by instructional videos from multiple different tutors who do a great job at teaching you the important details and not giving you a bunch of fluff that you have to sift through. And the beauty of it is it's all organized so well, just like DAT Bootcamp was. If you're looking for an anterior cervical triangle lecture, instead of having to try to go through a bunch of different YouTube pages or Google pages, you can literally go right to head and neck, click on the anterior cervical triangle chapter, and you'll find all the videos discussing the veins, arteries, nerves, muscles, everything that you have right there. And it's all in videos taught to you with accompanying question banks that can test your knowledge. The question banks have really good cadaveric images of cadavers themselves, and you can test yourself on both identifying structures and learning some of the lecture style questions like what innervates this muscle, which artery supplies this muscle, questions like that. So I've actually become good friends with the folks over there at Bootcamp, and I reached out to them and mentioned that I wanted to talk about their system in this video and they were gracious enough to give me a code to give to you. So if you want to use Anatomy Bootcamp, type in the code Stephen Ray, that's S-T-E-P-H-E-N-R-A-Y, and that'll get you a 20% discount on your upgrade to Anatomy Bootcamp, whether it's the monthly or yearly plan. Honestly, you could probably learn everything in Anatomy with Bootcamp alone. And when it comes to our education, sometimes we have to put just a little bit more money into it. But hopefully with this code, you could get it pretty cheap and go ahead and start learning. Once again, this is not Bootcamp sponsoring this video. They're not paying me anything. This is solely me enjoying their program and wanting to share it with you. And thankfully I was able to get a little bit of a, a discount for you. So use that if you're interested. The next resource that I wanna talk about is something that you're all very familiar with if you've watched some of my videos, and that is Anki. Anki is a free to use app, at least on your Mac or PC. And it's essentially a flashcard system that we use to input and create our own decks. We can also download decks from the internet. And the beauty of Anki is that it actually works quite well with anatomy. I've made three videos now on Anki and certain things that I do with Anki. I made one video talking about how I use it as a dental student. That's sort of an overview video going through the entire process of adding cards and some of my ideology behind why I use it and how I use it. And I also made a video talking about image occlusion. And this is the video that you really wanna watch if you're trying to deal with anatomy with Anki. Image occlusion allows us to take images like that one that you see there on my computer of the kidneys and put boxes over the words that are being shown in the diagram. 
and that allows you to test your knowledge of the structures. It's very simple, but it's extremely effective. And at least for me, I'm super, super visual. So the ability to put pictures in and have boxes over the right answer, I just remember structures so much better. And Anki has been like a savior for me. Some of the other classes that I've been taking, like physiology, for example, they're a little bit more difficult to integrate Anki, but anatomy is like perfect. I feel like Anki was almost built for anatomy. So definitely check out Anki if you haven't already. I know some of my classmates in my dental school class have actually been downloading it and adding it just because so many people say so many good things about it. So check it out. All right, so our third resource for this video is something that also costs money. And it's not something that I would say is absolutely essential, just sort of an add-on that if you can get, definitely try it out. And that is Complete Anatomy. Complete Anatomy is essentially a 3D software that allows you to visualize the entire body and all of its anatomical breakdowns and landmarks in 3D. It's sort of like the modern way of learning anatomy. We have so much technology nowadays. It's, it's not surprising that we can do this, but it still is really cool that you can look at the entire body and pull things off, remove skin, and just see like all the structures with a beautiful like 3D image that you can move around. And all of it is done there on the same program. The reason that I have complete anatomy is that my school here, UTHSC, got it for us. So I guess they included it in our costs or, or however they broke it down. So I was able to download it for free and get full access to it. And maybe your school has the same option. So definitely check that out. But the way to use this is to learn the structures visually. So I mentioned briefly that I'm a very visual learner. Sometimes when I'm learning something, if I'm having trouble just understanding a relationship, because a lot of, a lot of anatomy is relationships between different structures, I go into complete anatomy and I find those different regions. And then I just like move, I move it around. I move the camera in and out. I just swivel around it. And I try to understand the relationship between the two and how like I can get my brain to, to make that information concrete. So complete anatomy is definitely an unnecessary addition, but if you're someone who's super visual like me, I think it's almost very necessary because it just helps you to understand those relationships and see everything that you need to see. Definitely look into complete anatomy if you can. Let's move on to number four. The fourth resource on my list here is actually online question banks. And one of the best ways to study is to go through questions that are going to essentially simulate your test questions that you're gonna get. And sometimes your school will distribute questions that you know will help you on your exams. My school gives us quizzes that usually end up translating quite well to our exams. But there are also some online resources that you can check out for free to get test type questions for your anatomy course. The first one I'll mention here is actually called Gray's Anatomy Review. So just type in like Gray's Anatomy Review. I'll actually leave the link to it in this in the description of this video as well. And this is going to be a question bank. It's a PDF book of tons of different questions for every portion of the body. And they're actually quite difficult. They're, they're all clinical style questions where a patient comes into the hospital or the emergency room with a certain injury and they give you a little bit of a description of where that injury is and they ask you what's affected or they'll say that the patient can't do this movement, which nerve is affected, questions like that. And while those are difficult at times, they're very good at actually testing your knowledge of the material and also simulating the types of questions that you're gonna get on your written anatomy exams. So Gray's Anatomy Review is probably the first one that I would think about. There's also a question bank that I recently found from Texas Tech and this is one that just has like their sort of exam style questions. Very similar thing, you can go through and like take their little quizzes. It's all online for free and it's just another resource that you should definitely be repping through and doing before your exams. And that sort of seamlessly flows right into our fifth and final resource for this video, and that is the University of Michigan. I guess UMich has like a big anatomy program or else maybe they just put a lot of things online, but I've seen tons of different things from the University of Michigan when it comes to anatomy. And namely, the biggest thing is their cadaveric images. Most of the difficulty of anatomy is learning the structures in a cadaver, which never really looks like you want it to. The structures always look different than they do in images. And so having actual cadaveric images is really important. And this is why I talked about Anatomy Bootcamp at the beginning of this video, because they actually have curated tons and tons of cadaveric images from all different places. And so you get, when you pay for it, you get all of those images. But a good resource online is the University of Michigan. They have an entire, I think it's called Blue Link maybe, deck of images of their cadavers. And they have them labeled with all the structures that they're pointing to. If you are an Anki user, there is actually a deck for the University of Michigan cadaveric images. So somebody went through and image occluded every name on the entire deck 
and it's like, I don't even know how many cards. I think it's, I don't know how many cards. It's a lot of cards. I will also leave that link in the description below, but download that deck to your Anki and start using it. It's really, really good for like your lab studying for your lab practicals. And that's one of the major ways that I've been studying for those practicals. So that's it. That is five resources that I've been using to get me through gross anatomy. And honestly, guys, like I'm not the greatest student in the world. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I don't have a photographic memory, but these five resources together have allowed me to do quite well in my gross anatomy course in dental school. And I think that I can almost guarantee you that if you use these five resources, you will have no problems. Gross Anatomy is a daunting course. It's something that we all have to go through, but it's actually quite enjoyable when everything clicks and you learn all this information and you can get onto a test and just answer the questions with ease. So use your resources. One of the beautiful things about our current state of education is that we have so much out there and so much at our fingertips. We just have to go out, find it and bring it in and use it. I'll leave links to everything that I talked about in the video description if you want to see anything specifically. I hope this video was helpful for at least one or two people. I've, I've had a lot of people recently telling me that certain things that I'm putting out is helpful to them and that just means the world to me because that was the reason why I started this channel. I wanted to help people and I didn't know how many people I would help. I still don't really know, but hopefully there are people out there that are getting both enjoyment and assistance in certain things from my videos. We're also almost to 1000 subscribers on this channel. So if you've watched to this point and you're interested in subscribing and seeing more, definitely go ahead and do that and get, up, get me to a thousand. Uh, that's going to be a huge landmark for me. And I'm super, super excited for that. Should be coming like within the next week. I appreciate each and every one of you and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. So happy studying and best of luck.